Good evening. Will the audience please stand for the presentation of colors by the Casa Grande Union High School's JROTC and the singing of our national anthem by CGUHS Blue Notes, followed by the CGUHS Alma Mater. Class of 2020, please be seated. Good evening, I'm Brian Mab, principal of Casa Grande Union High School, and I welcome you to the 101st annual commencement ceremony. Please help me welcome our superintendent, Dr. Steve Beebe. I would also like to recognize our governing board, board president, the Honorable Nancy Hawkins, the Honorable Jack Hennis, and those not able to be with us tonight, the Honorable Joe Lopez and the Honorable Chuck Wright. I want to give special thanks to Mrs. Donna Teus for all the years she has helped to prepare the students with their speeches. Please help me also recognize assistant principals, Mr. Greg Anderson and Mrs. Andrea Turan, athletic director, Mr. Randy Robbins, and Dean of Students, Mr. Tim Rutt. Of course, we are especially grateful for our parents, guardians, grandparents, family and friends who have joined us this evening. Thank you for being with us and for sharing these talented young men and ladies with us. I would also like to welcome our Casa Grand Union High School staff and those middle school and elementary teachers who have played an important role in the lives of tonight's graduates. Finally, a huge welcome to the class of 2020, who we honor tonight. Thank you to our amazing Blue Notes Choir for their beautiful rendition of the national anthem in our alma mater. 
along with our talented JROTC who assisted with the presentation of the colors. A special thanks for those men and women serving past or present in each of our branches of service. It is noteworthy to mention that several of our graduates have also chosen to defend our freedom by joining one of these branches of the armed forces. Thank you for your service to our country. Similarly, we are living in what many have labeled as unprecedented times, which have required extraordinary efforts. I would like to thank the many first responders and healthcare workers who have labored so selflessly to care for us during this pandemic. Many of our students will be quickly joining this heroic labor as they go into law enforcement, fire sciences, and the medical field. We are proud of you. It is this quality of, of character that I have come to love and appreciate about our students and tonight's graduates. Several of our graduates are recognized tonight for their quick embrace of our superintendent's service challenge. Our graduates understand what it means to serve and to give back. We recognize that COVID-19 pandemic has impacted many lives around the world. Please join me in a moment of silence as we remember all those affected. Thank you. Our graduating seniors will join a proud group of alumni with a rich heritage and connection to the Casa Grande Union High School Cougars. These graduates embody what it means to have Cougar pride. They have embraced our motto of inspiring excellence by finding the excellence within and by encouraging those around them to live up to their potential. The last lines of Robert Frost's poem, The Road Not Taken, reminds us of the importance of our journey. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Tonight, we celebrate your commencement, not an end, but a beginning of your journey to greater opportunities. I challenge you now to continue to live your lives with the honor, pride, perseverance, and service that has marked your high school career. To not always take the road less traveled. Class of 2020, tonight's graduates, you have made me a better person for knowing you. I commend you for your character and integrity. I look forward to our future and know that you will be of great worth to our future. Congratulations. Ms. Maria Mackler, student body president, will formally welcome you to our 101st commencement ceremony. Maria's parents are Norma and Paul Mackler. Please help me welcome Maria, who will give both our welcome as student body president and also our salutatorian address. This exceptional young woman has been focused on academics and is an excellent role model to her fellow students. She takes the leadership of our school seriously and is committed to representing Casa Grande Union High School with pride. Maria was involved in many extracurricular activities, National Honor Society, Student Council, Key Club, Wor World Travel Club, No Place for Hate, Drama Club, and Film Club. Maria was an ambassador for two years and was able to be part of the superintendent's advisory council. Outs outside of school, she has been an altar server for St. Anthony's of Padua Catholic Church for seven years and was part of JCDA for three years. She was involved in theater at Union and participated in a total of seven shows. She attended the American Legion Auxiliary Girls State. In August, Maria will be attending Northern Arizona University's Honor College, where she will double major in international affairs and Spanish. Her aspiration is to learn more about international issues, which will eventually lead her to journalism, business, foreign service, policy analysis, or maybe part of a university's faculty one day. Maria has received NEU's Lumberjack Scholarship of $40,000. She ends her years at CGUHS having earned a cumulative GPA of 4.643. Please help me welcome your student body president and our CGUHS salutatorian, Miss Maria Mackler. Welcome Casa Grande Union High School board members, Dr. Beebe, Mr. Mab, teachers and staff, families, friends, peers, and especially the graduating class of 2020. This is the first virtual graduation ever. 
I guess that's kind of special. <laughs> I want to begin by saying congratulations to the CGHS graduating seniors. We should be very proud of making it to this point in our lives, despite all the complications that have been thrown our way. COVID-19 is serious stuff, but we're going to get through it. For us high school seniors, it will likely be just another minor bump in the road. It is something that can and will be defeated. I know the many complications that have arisen because of this pandemic, some things hitting closer to home than usual. We lost a lot. In the four years that I have known you, so many of you personally, I have learned that one small bump will neither deter our drive nor hurt our spirits. We are determined individuals. We are passionate. We are the future. Each of you sitting at home listening to this understands that graduating high school is a powerful rite of passage in our lives. We put our hearts and souls in these four years of high school. We have grown and we have changed. We have lost friends and gained others. High school itself was a roller coaster at times. And what a scary downhill part we seem to be at now. No matter the circumstances, no matter the events that were taken away, we still completed this part of our ride. Each of us has sat through those classes that dragged on for eternity, laughed at those candid moments with peers that we may have just met, and lived the epitome of a high school experience. I would have personally not changed the last four years in any way. I would not give up the countless of times I've cried about notes I had to do the dances I had to memorize for a school play, or even the gum spots on our campus floor. This past year, we had many great moments. In just three quarters, <laughs> the football team had an amazing season, winning the rivalry match and going to playoffs, cross country qualifying for state, band, as always, had an incredible year. Boys soccer in the playoffs, HOSA and FFA, and on and on goes the list. Of course, I must give a special shout out to Key Club, NHS, Drama, and Student Council. You made these four years something I will cherish forever. Our experiences throughout high school would have not been the same without the staff. It is crazy that so many of you teachers are not as scary as we thought you were at first. Every teacher we had gave us everything they had. They helped us all grow in so many ways. On a personal note, thank you, Mr. Craig, for teaching me to stand up for what I believe. Thank you, Mr. Malik, for not giving up on my struggles with multiple choice and showing me that my brain can keep a song for more than 24 hours. Thank you, Ms. Plagan Cool and Mrs. Craig for showing me the true value of friendship. Thank you, Mrs. Adams, for being a walking ray of sunshine that added a glow to my day. Thank you to my parents for teaching me not to be embarrassed about having stories told about me in front of the class. Thank you to Brad Kepler for showing me the importance of asking someone how they are doing. Thank you to every single one of you who have impacted me in any way especially Mrs. Cassidy, Mrs. Brady, and Mr. Mab. I am sure my classmates' lists are as long as mine. We simply cannot name you all. There are just too many. On behalf of all the seniors, thank you so much. Let me say a word about our high school friendships. They are so important. School is better when you have good friends. So you underclassmen, get out and join stuff extracurricular activities, sports, just get involved. The truth is, being involved makes or breaks the high school experience. So get out of your comfort zone and go do it. I came from a graduating class of 11 students my eighth grade year to a senior class of 384 students. It was a big change for me coming to the school, but you all have made it so worthwhile. To my fellow St. Anthony's classmates, 
I would say we have adjusted pretty well. And look at us, we made it. Seniors, I know that every one of us has something great ahead. There are so many more adventures to come, whether in military service, community colleges or universities, trade schools, internships, or the workforce, wherever your dreams take you. We must believe in ourselves because so many people believe in us. Our teachers believe in us. Our parents believe in us. Our friends believe in us. Make sure you believe in you. I wish I could, at this moment, see my parents in the crowd in front of me. I wish we were out in the stadium on a beautiful spring evening, but we are still here, celebrating and having an incredible experience. So grab some popcorn at home and enjoy what is to come. Keep on striving, class of 2020. Take good care, everyone. This is your student body president, Maria Amelia Mackler, signing off. Thank you, Maria. Class rankings are calculated at the end of seventh semester and are based on students' cumulative GPA. Graduating with the honor of being valedictorian of one's high school class is not accomplished without consistent commitment to excellence and great personal sacrifice. Please help me welcome tonight, Casa Grande Union High School valedictorian, Michaela McKay. Michaela's parents are Shelley and Shannon Salter, whom we also honor today. Michaela is an outstanding student who has demonstrated academic excellence and has earned a GPA of 4.767. During her years here at CGUHS, Michaela challenged herself with a rigorous course load, including several AP classes. This distinguished AP scholar is focused on academics, as well as Key Club, National Honor Society, and Student Council. She also participated in SciTech for three years. Besides being valedictorian, her most important accomplishment during her tenure here at Casa Grande Union High School was discovering her academic potential and growing as a student. Michaela will attend Northern Arizona University through the Honors College and major in psychology. She hopes to teach, work in investigations, and make movies. Michaela is Christian, interested in art and screenwriting, and she is a fan of Tommy James, and the Shondells and the Beach Boys. Michaela thus far has received $130,000 in scholarships. I am honored to be able to introduce this outstanding young woman, Miss Michaela McKay. I would virtually like to welcome the Casa Grande Union High School District Governing Board members administration, faculty and staff, honored guests, and especially the graduating class of 2020. This moment marks the beginning of the rest of our lives. Though our senior year was most certainly not what we expected, it was memorable. I had fun this year, albeit we were not able to have a senior prom or trip, but we did have a senior ditch day, which has spanned over a few months. We have mastered Senior Ditch Day. We have every right to be upset, but it is up to us to choose how it will help us grow. The pandemic we are currently living through has taught me to be compassionate and to take nothing for granted. We all worked very hard for this moment and we should not let the consequences of a pandemic dampen our celebration. As we venture into the unknown, we must be reminded to stay grounded and connected to our roots. Let us remember our friends and keep them in mind. Let us remember Casa Grande Union High School and the faculty who made our success possible. I am very grateful for my teachers. Thank you to Mr. Malik and Ms. Plagenkuhl for enduring my impeccable humor and talent as an AP student. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Craig, for essentially watching me mature as an AP student and for helping me grow in confidence. They taught me that being humble does not equate to having no self-confidence. 
Thank you to Ms. Fitzgibbons, Mrs. Ramirez, Ms. Hardin, and Mr. Mackler for supporting me while helping me grow in my writing. I could not have aced English 101 at CAC if it were not for Ms. Hardin. Almost every assignment we did in her class prepared me for the course. Mr. Mackler complimenting my creative writing made my whole year. It felt amazing for someone I respect so dearly to be proud of me. Thank you to my math teachers, especially Mr. Munoz. He endured with us through one rough year and he truly cared about his students. He serves as an example to us all on how to overcome significant challenges in our lives. Thank you to all my science teachers. Mr. Reed's AP Bio class will be unforgettable. He taught us that this is, in fact, not Burger King and that we cannot have it our way. I will be forever grateful for Mrs. Yap, who showed me that AP physics was fun and not scary like I thought it would be. For the sake of time, I want the rest of my high school teachers to know that I am very thankful for their part in my journey to success. I would especially like to thank two of my former teachers from middle school. Mrs. Bettina was my cheer coach. From her, I learned that I am strong on my own and capable of more than I could ever imagine. And finally, I would like to thank Mr. Busby. He was my science Olympiad teacher. He let me ramble to him about how much I loved One Direction. And when a new album was released, he would play it for the class, even if they all hated it. I felt like I was the least intelligent out of all the Science Olympiad students, but he was convinced I was on their level. If he taught at this school, I would have continued to ramble on about my infatuations, which have moved on to more sophisticated musicians like Paul Anka, the Beach Boys, and Tommy James and the Shondells. He showed me how much potential I have in academic endeavors and life itself. Thank you to my mom, Shelly, my grandma, Cindy, and my stepdad, Shannon. I could not have achieved any of this without them. My Aunt Rhonda is also very special to me. She took me to Disneyland to celebrate my accomplishment, and I love her dearly. Achieving academic milestones is no yellow brick road. We often think less of our own ability and skills, looking at our classmates and thinking they are more capable and smarter than ourselves. But when we persevere, we discover potential in ourselves we were not aware of before. I took 10 AP classes in addition to two CAC courses online and eight honors courses. For those wishing to achieve the same success, I recommend taking as many AP classes as you can and taking CAC courses through the dual enrollment program. These courses will also prepare you for college and will make your high school career a lot easier. You will be used to going above and beyond to get good grades, so average classes you take will be a breeze. Take your education seriously and start early. It may seem like you will be in high school forever, but you will not. I would know. Freshman year makes or breaks your success, but if you did not do as well as you would have liked, do not let that discourage you. Try your best during your remaining years and do not let anything distract you from doing the best for yourself while still in school. You do not have to be a genius to be successful. I see myself as maybe a little above average, but what carried me this far was my work ethic. I was driven by my fear of failure so much that I refused to fail. What made me above average was that I craved success and I wanted to succeed. You do not know what you are capable of until you actually do it. Find things that help you succeed. I found comfort in my relationship with Christ. My senior quote was 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, for I walk by faith, not by sight. It summed up my whole high school experience. If I would have let one bad week determine my future, I would not be giving this speech. I love you all. I care about all of you. I pray for all of you. Please do good for yourselves and others. The most important thing I can ask of you, however, is to care about your future without forgetting to live for today. I will not forget our senior class. See you later because I refuse to let graduation be a goodbye. Congratulations, class of 2020.
Casa Grande Union High School has an exceptional number of graduates receiving scholarly accolades. Students who have received these honors have been awarded different colored cords and medals. I would like to commend each of these students for attaining their high academic achievements. Honor graduates are those students who have a GPA of 3.5 or higher, successfully passed four honors or AP classes with a C or higher, passed three AZ merit exams with a three or higher, scored 23 or higher on their ACT exam, or scored a 1,040 or higher on the SAT exam. They have been awarded gold medallions. Casa Grande Union High School is very proud of our students who are receiving scholarships. In addition to those scholarships, those students are recipients of a red scholarship cord. Combined, the CGUHS Class of 2020 has received $3,423,228 to date. Also worthy of recognition are those who did not receive an award, but through, through sheer determination and tenacity, never abandoned their goals of a high school diploma. To all the parents, grandparents, foster parents, and caregivers who never gave up on their students, we also applaud you. At this time, please help me welcome our Casa Grande Union High School District Superintendent, Dr. Steve Beebe. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to acknowledge two groups of students tonight. First, I would like to acknowledge the men and women who will go off after high school and serve in the armed forces. Thank you for your dedication to your city. Thank you to your dedication to your state and our country for the freedoms that you will provide us as you go off and serve your country. And secondly, I would like to recognize those students who took me up on my superintendent's challenge. A number of students from this graduating class have gone out to serve their community and have served over 200 hours of community service in one year. And for that service, they have been given cords to recognize their efforts at graduation tonight. And now, Casa Grande Union High School District governing board members, faculty, parents, and graduates. It is my pleasure as superintendent of the Casa Grande Union High School District to certify that these students have met the requirements for graduation as set forth by the state of Arizona and the Casa Grande Union High School District. Accordingly, I present this class to Ms. Nancy Hawkins, president of the governing board. Ms. Hawkins, I respectfully request that you accept these graduates and that you and your fellow board members confer diplomas upon them. Good evening, everyone. As president of the governing board of the Casa Grande Union High School District, and by the authority vested in me by the Constitution and the laws of the state of Arizona, I accept and confirm the Casa Grande Union High School class of 2020, and that they have met the requirements for graduations. Congratulations, everybody. Michaela Marie McKay. Maria Amelia McAlore. Brianna Nicole Eager. Paige Nicole Acosta. Jorge Molina Aguilar. Caleb Conrad Alegria. Damian Ray Allen. Dakota Renee Alvarez. Yahtzee Elizabeth Alvarez. Zachariah Denetso Andrews. Gabriel Andrew Antone. Jordan Apcaw. Zachary Duke Archuleta Jr. Carlos Feliciano Arciniega Bacabegua. 
Jose Maria Arizaga. Allison Kate Armstead. Nicholas Adam Aros. Kiana Hope Ashi King. Jimena Atienzo Serna. Cole Patrick Aza. Raul Avina Perez Jr. Dominique R. Ballard. Delray Matthew Baptisto. Emily Alba Baptisto. Mariah Destiny Barraza. Luis Daniel Barrera. Well, we made it, guys. 2020 graduation. It was tough. We made it, though. Go Cougars. No. Macario Imanol Becerra Jr. Sofia Alejandra Bejarano Murieta. Verlin Jewel Belgard. Logan Edward Beskin. Lillian Sharon Blixt. Taya Summer Bodhi. Hello, my name is Taya Bodhi, and I want to say thank you for the people who have supported me, and I hope to achieve my career job in the future. Anna Marie Bowen. Tracy Bravo. Raylan Joanne Brazelton. I would like to say thank you to my family for their support and that I want to go to college to become a nurse. Alicia Vincent Bridges. Rosemary Briseno. Nicole Isabel Brooks. Thank you to my friends and family and congratulations to the class of 2020. Alyssa Brianna Brown. Logan David Brown. Lydia Michelle Brown. Congrats, Cougars. Kevin John Brown Jr. Chloe Grace Buchanan. I wanted to say thank you to my parents and my teachers who helped me out along the way. I'm headed to GCU. Go Ropes. Stephanie Priscilla Burgos. Marilena Isabel Buruel. Alasia Leigh Bustos. Jacqueline Marie Caballero. Nicholas Nathaniel Cabello. Maya Monique Caldera. Frank Lee Calderon III. Nicholas Mark Camacho. Manuel Emilio Camino. Kelly Emmeline Campbell. Nancy Sophia Carbajal. Mitchell Dominic Carlos.
Joseph Rush Carlson. Melanie Rose Casillas. Alejandra Guadalupe Castro Beltram. Celcine Odette Cedeno. Vanessa Serna Torres. Aliyah Julia Cervantes. You guys, we did it. I'm so proud of us. This is gonna be short, but I'd mainly like to thank my parents, my family, everyone who supported me throughout my four years of high school. Thank you guys so much. Elias Lorenzo Chacon. Corday Rochelda Chase. Marcelina Crystal Chavez. Anaya Danica Chavez Soto. Harley Cheyenne Coley. Elasia Colt. Madison Marie Confer. Thank you to all the teachers and counselors that have helped me get to where I am today. Congratulations, Class of 2020, and I cannot wait to see what we do next. Carly Madison Cordova. Elijah Anthony Cordova Morales. Jesus Salvador Diaz Coria. Santos Rivera Cornejo II. Moises Corona Perez. Uh, they support me to high school. Um, my future is going to be great. Francisco Daniel Mendoza Coralejo. Miguel Anthony Mendoza Coralejo. Jacob Alec Cortez. Joseph Andrew Cortez. Marina Alia Cortez. Paige Ashley Crisp. Thanks to all my friends and family for helping me through this experience. Here is to the class of 2020. Anthony Andrew Cruz. John Travis Daniel. Thank you to everybody that was there for the past four years. I couldn't have done it without you. Proud to say next year I'm going to be studying engineering at ASU. Go Sun Devils. Ian Issei de Santiago. Valeria Autumn Rose Dean. Xavier Ian Del Pino. Savannah Dora Dixon. Ricardo Antonio Duarte. Christopher Jesus Duenas. Padden Sean Dugan. Serena Haley Eaton. Logan Nicole Edwards. Joseph Russell Estrada. Cindy Flores. Jacob Daniel Fryho McFarlane. Elisa Kreider Gaspar Francisco. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for these four years you've been together with me. Um, I wouldn't say all the seniors, 
all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue it. Isaiah Jediah Francisco Jose Antonio Frias Castro Seth Kaya Gabaldon Mariana Gallus Maya Genevieve Galicia Dominic Elijah Gallegos Antonio Enrique Garcia Alessandra Lenora Garcia Joseph Guadalupe Garcia Rosario G. Garcia Gunnar Wayne Gary Bailey Renee Gates Victoria Lynn Gillum Leonardo Guinez Marissa Josefina Gomez Noah Christopher Gomez Jenna Ray Gonzalez Mariposa Amya Gonzalez Congratulations, Class of 2020! Ovidio Gonzalez, Jr. I would like to thank my parents, family, and teachers for pushing me through high school. Adriana Gonzalez Chavez. I would like to thank my family, teachers, counselors, coaches, teammates, and friends who helped me on this four-year journey. Let's go, Class of 2020. Myra Gonzalez Chavez. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Goodbye. Colton Dean Gwynn. Marley Jade Gustafson. Hannah Janelle Haas. Kelsey Habana. Mason Ivan Aaron Halley. Jameer Christopher Heyman. Natalie Jasenia Harrison. Catherine Marie Henson. I want to say thank you to all my friends and family who have supported me throughout the years. And I'm very happy to share this special moment with you, even though we might not be together in person. Anthony Fabian Hernandez. Joshua Hernandez. Natalie Hernandez Santiago Joaquin Hernandez Madison Renee Hetrick Miguel Angel Hilario Sienna Dawn Houston Devon Isaac Jackson Michelle Carmen Jacobo Trent Andrew James Emerald Paje Jefferson Christina Jimenez Crystal Guadalupe Jimenez 
Neo Jimenez, Sydney Nicole Johns. Thank you to Miss Adams, Miss Jackie, Mr. Reed, Jean Manuel, my grandparents, and my parents. Go Cougars! Derenique Mornay Johnson. Garrett Nelson Johnson. Donald Joshua Johnson Jr. Levi Travis Joyner. Benjamin Eric Kingery. Eric Joseph Kinnan. Mika Kalani Kraus. Carolee Lara Rodriguez. Caroline Maria Jacqueline Lohr. Noah William Lawson. Ariana Joy Ledesma. Julia Sophia Leija. Hi, so I don't really know what I'm supposed to say because I waited till the last minute just like I've done with everything else in high school, but I wanted to say thank you to my mom and dad and to Mr. K and Mr. Morris. Joshua Leon. Brett Elliot Lewis. Dayton Charles Lewis. McKinley Elizabeth Lewis Zachary Adam Lewis Michael Lee Linton Eric Lomelli Alexis Nicole Leilani Lopez Destiny Nicole Lopez Dylan Michael Lopez Francisco Mario Lopez Jezbelen Lopez Juliana Alexis Lopez Ruben Daniel Lopez Sebastian Vincenzo Lorenzini Sonny Kate Lotito Kyla Genevieve Lovett Jesse Lugo Santiago Benavidez Luna Jr. Tara Leigh Lynch Adam Diego Magallanes Brandy Marie Lee Magel I just wanted to say thanks to all my teachers and congrats to the class of 2020. Morgan Amber Malik Sebastian Farrell Manuel Allison Renee Manywhisker Angel Emilio Marcial Sanchez April Renee Marquez Haley Elise Marshall Berenice Martinez Daniel Pedro Martinez Josiah Jaime Martinez 
Mariciana Gabriela Martinez. Natalie Martinez. Olivia Mikel Martinez. Jose Jesus Martinez Ortiz. Jeffrey Warner Massman. Shyla Nicole Mayerhofer. Colin Matthew McCoy. Benjamin Alexander McFan. Kendra Kathleen McKinney. Luis Jose Medina. Manuel Alexander Medina III. Carla Michelle Medina Melkor. Alex Juan Mejia Jr. Gilberto Melendez. Alyssa Marie Malulis. Nayeli Eileen Mendeville. Jessica Marie Mercado. Isaac Abraham Mijares. Isabel Elena Mijares. Allison Nicole Miller. I got a diamond in my pocket and my baby's got a heart of gold. Noah Dennis Miller Brian David Minor Jr. Thanks. Trevante La Frederick Minas Luis Angel Miranda Zachary Joseph Mitchell Amy Lauren Montemuro Giselle Andrea Moreno Gabriel Jonathan Munoz Gabriela Murieta Arguelles Ata A. Mustafa Rebecca Elizabeth Myers Hannah May Lee Nagel Tyler Namoki Tristan Gabriel Natani Adriana Arvizu Navarro Jacob Ryan Neff Deshaun Damian Nelson Connor James Norris Raul Nathaniel Ochoa Emily Renee Ogle Caleb Ian Olvera Hannah Elizabeth O'Neill Elliot Chiadozi Opara Karina Dominique Ornelas Justin Martin Ortiz Mariana Guadalupe Ortiz 
Terence Jasper Osife. Melissa Padron Rodriguez. Angelina Pantoja. Isai Patena Ortiz. Alicia Marie Pedro. Trista Sadie Lucia Pedro. Andrea Peel. Daryl Isaiah Penn. Hard work plus motivation. See you at the next level. Anthony Isaiah Perez. Blake Cameron Perry. Isaac Alexander Pesqueda. Nicholas Alexander Peterson. Asusena Pinedo. Brady Joseph Pinon. Nadia Letitia Pittman. Alan Ray Pratt. Alyssa Page Price. Corbin Dale Pruitt. Good job, Class 2020. Miriam Susanna Pulido. Jose Julian Quezada. Leslie Giselle Quinn. Fatima Damari Quiroz. Rafael Quiroz III. Hannah Elizabeth Ralston. Isaac Ray Ramirez. Jeremy Owen Juan Ramirez. Hi, my name is Jeremy Ramirez. I want to thank my family, teachers, and my planners to get a job. Guadalupe Ramirez Maciel. Alicia Janae Ramon. Luis Ivan Alberto Ramos. Oscar Alexis Ramos. Adriana Celeste Rascon. Ashton Lee Red. Carly Suzette Reed. Matea Rose Riley. Kyle Sergio Renteria. Sean Patrick Gonzalez Reyes. Kian Andre Reyes Garcia. Ariana Rayana Reynoso. Jed Thomas Richards. Nayla Maria Ryder. Carly Riggs. Atsiri Yahaira Rios. Oscar Armando Rios Jr. Maria Belen Rivas. William Alexander Rivera. Caden Asa Robbins. 
Janelle Shante Rossettis. Alex Jaden Rocha. Denise Abigail Rodriguez. Ivan Samuel Rodriguez. Savannah Raquel Rodriguez. Mauricio Rodriguez Nava. Valeria Rojo Ruiz. Edgar Roman. Angelica Monique Romero. Tatum Elise Ronquillo. Ariana Amare Rosales. Sharaday Nicole Ross. Maria Rebecca Ruiz Redondo. Isaiah Augustine Sines. Jorge Luis Salas. Jose Daniel Salas. Damien Esteban Salazar Garnica. Leah Renee Salcido. Paisley Rochelle Salinas. Evan Joel Samayoa. We're proud of you, Evan. We love you. Keep working hard. We'll always be here for you. We love you. Asia Sienna Sanchez. Julian Gabriel Sanchez. Victor Manuel Sanchez. Alyssa Ann Sandoval. Francisco Jr. Ayala Sandoval. Melissa Sandoval. Adriana Maria Santos. Mark Anthony Lee Scarlato. Congratulations, seniors. We did it. Um, a thank you to my mom and dad, and uh, just everyone else who, uh, that helped me out through this journey. Ileana Marie Sigaroba. I'd like to give thanks to my family and friends for being there for me and encouraging me these last four years. Savannah Diane Sakinga. Agnese Anna Selina. Rhett James Silva. Alvaro Armando Silva Valenzuela. Dominique James Sims. Haley Brianne Slaughter. Hi everyone, thank you so much for being with me on this high school journey. I hope to see you all in the future. Christopher Joseph Smith. Emery Alvin Smith. Coral Lizbeth Solano. Ingrid Daniela Solorzano Garcia. Hi, this is Ingrid. Thank you to everyone who supported me throughout this journey and class of 2020. Congratulations, we did it. Katrina Lee Sofa. Cassandra Rose Soto. Daisy Nicole Soto. 
Trey Percival Constantine Spencer III. Brady Allen Stevens. Dylan Lee Stone. Jacob Ricky Stone. Harley Joe Straps. Nilza Elena Tapia. Darian Juan Thompson. Dene Lisa Thompson. Kaylee Shea Toro. Michaela Lynn Trafalet. Marco Israel Tawaya. Isabella Jolene Tutty. Alexandra Valdez. Jaden Anthony Valdez. Claudia Diana Valenzuela. Daniel Valenzuela Valenzuela. Erica Jocelyn Valenzuela. William Garrett Vandenhoek. Matthew A. Vargas. Delena Marie Vasquez. Michaela Haiti Vasquez. Diego Alejandro Vega Hernandez. Gregory Devin Velasquez. Vanessa Jasmine Venegas Perez. Marlene Grace Vergara. Annalicia Marie Villa. Celine Nele Villanueva. Marcos Javier Villanueva. Miguel Angel Vizoso. Matthew Nathan Ward. Michaela Ann Watson. Gabriel Kellen Pierce Wegg. Helen Hope Marie Whitman. Alexis Marie Whitaker. Thank you all to my teachers that helped me for the last four years and making me graduate. Dakota Ann Wilhelm. Conrad Joseph Willems Clark. Nathan Thomas Williams. Jalen Ali Willis. Justin Jakeem Willis. Dominic Isaac Winters. Savannah Jade Withrow. Chaz Anthony Wiley. Louisa Gatiss Xavier. Lorenzo F. Ibarra. Trey James Ibarra. Thanks for all the great memories. Jonathan Fernando Yan. 
Thomas Anthony Zambrano. Emil Allen Zavala. Eliezer Jr. Zuniga. In a moment, Brianna Eager, your senior class president, will give the Casa Grande Union High School's 101st farewell address on behalf of the senior class. Brianna's parents are Kim and CJ Diaz. Brianna believes her most important accomplishment in high school was being able to accomplish so much in such a short amount of time. Her many extracurricular activities include Key Club for three years, Student Council for three years, FCCLA, Early Childhood Education for three years, FFA as a freshman, 4-H for three years, attended Girl State junior year, and the Superintendent's Challenge her senior year. Brianna maintained dual credit classes through CAC, both junior and senior years, and she'll receive two full paid years at CAC through the Promise of the Future and has a $20,000 scholarship from Northern Arizona University. Her long-term goal is to get the right education and training to advance through the military ranks of the United States Air Force. Please help me welcome your senior class president, Brianna Eager. Good evening, Casa Grande Union High School graduating class of 2020. I would like to welcome the CGUHS District Governing Board members, administration, faculty and staff, family, friends and alumni to this evening's first ever virtual graduation ceremony. As Mr. Mab stated, I am the senior class president and it is indeed an honor to be speaking this evening. We did it, we are finally here, graduation day. The day that we have all been waiting for has finally arrived. We all worked so hard to get here, and now, four years later, we say goodbye to Union and to each other. History gave us an interesting welcome, as most of us were born in the year that the country experienced 9-11, and now, history is giving us a mighty send-off. The pandemic that exists in our city, state, country, and world today has made life a little different for us. It is true, we have had many activities and rites of passage taken from us this quarter. However, the loss of those things does not rob us of our dreams, goals, and plans. I have heard some of my classmates say that this has robbed them of their lives. That is simply not true. This pandemic has impacted us for approximately three months. The last three months out of our 13 years of this educational journey simply cannot define who we are. We are having to live through something that no one else has lived through. Yes, we are having to do things a little differently, living more cautiously. That is all true. But what a story we will have to tell our children and grandchildren. Thinking back over the last four years, I am sure we can all remember our first day here. In my case, my mom dropped me off in the parent loop and told me to have a good day. As I walked through the front gates, I was both nervous and excited. Nervous about what I did not know, but excited about starting a new chapter in my life. Little did I know that I would be walking through those gates into an adventure that would define my next four years and my life. We have all had the opportunity to develop friendships that will last a lifetime, participate in clubs and sports that would help us grow as leaders and situations that would prepare us for challenges we would meet in the future. Those same skills are helping us stay strong and resilient at this very moment. During these last four years, we have all learned a great deal. We have learned new things, not only academic things, but life lessons from clubs and organizations to which we belong. Student Council, FFA, and FCCLA are all organizations that allowed me to learn, compete, and travel. While in high school, you had opportunities like these as well. Band members competed all over the country and were always the pride of Casa Grande, bringing home many honors. DECA represented CG at state and national competitions as well. There are so many organizations who provided us opportunities to develop our competitive edges that we will take into our futures. We have had many service clubs and organizations like Student Council, NHS, and Key Club that have helped teach us that service to others is the highest calling of humanity. Our class learned how to compete and serve like no other. Our seniors won awards, scholarships, sporting events, and yes, the powder puff game too. As you move forward in life, whether you are heading to a university, trade school, or the military, or wherever your path leads you, remember to do so with an open mind and an open heart. Be ready for whatever life is going to throw at you, and always remember to move forward no matter what comes across your path. 
Life is a learning curve for all of us. Take time to figure out yourself and what you truly want. The world is always changing and we must change with it. Do not fight the changes, embrace them. They will guide you down your life's path into your future. We have already shown the world and ourselves that we are capable of adapting, of taking life's lemons and making a lemon cream pie. Like I said, we are different. We may have to work harder, dream bigger, and be stronger. We are all capable of that because we are cougars. Before I close, I must take a moment to thank my incredible mom, dad, siblings, and grandparents. Without their unconditional love and support, my educational journey would not have been much different. I would not be the same person who stands here today. They have been my first teachers and greatest supporters, and I am so grateful to them. I urge my classmates to take a moment now to turn to those around you that have helped shape your lives and thank them as well. Go ahead, turn around and thank those around you, and I will wait. My fellow graduates, tonight we celebrate our accomplishments, glance at the past for some perspective, but look forward with excitement and enthusiasm. Tonight we join the ranks of the thousands who went before us as we become the 101st graduating class of Castle Grand Union High School. Be safe, be happy, and always stay connected. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you, Brianna. Mrs. Stephanie Adams will now lead the long-standing tradition of the turning of the tassels. Mrs. Adams, our award-winning culinary arts instructor, is retiring after 19 years of teaching for our district. She has been instrumental in helping organize our graduations over the past several years. Please help me welcome Mrs. Stephanie Adams. I would personally like to congratulate the class of 2020. You have all worked extremely hard to get there and I could not be more proud of you. I wish each of you the best in your future endeavors as you enter the workforce, higher education, or the armed forces. Turning the tassel symbolizes your tradition from candidate to graduate. Tassels are worn on the right side of the mortar board and moved to the left to signify graduate status. Seniors, please rise for the turning of the tassel. You may now turn your tassel from the right to the left. You are now part of a great tradition of Cougar alumni. On behalf of Casa Grande Union High School, I take great pride in presenting to you the 101 class to graduate from CGUHS, the class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. 